Oh my god, I felt that one. I hit my eye too. Oh, I should have. Oh. Welcome back to another video of Active Verse Universe. Today, I have something banger for you guys, man. I don't know you missed me. Last week I was able to upload because of two reasons. One, I needed to uh, break uh, from basically uh, not just social media in general, but uh, just break from uh, everything that I was doing to concentrate exactly, uh, refocus, and uh, get the things that I need to get my vision clear on what I need to do. Uh, not just for this channel, but also for my life. And so, thank you guys for being so patient and staying tuned to watch this video. I know everybody gonna comment first, first comment, first comment. I love those comments, man. Keep bringing them in, man. Before I even get into the intro or into anything, I wanna, I wanna give you guys this quick, quick announcement of this banger that is coming up out at, at, at my church, uh, Stone Point Community Church. And so let's watch that. Hey guys, so today we're gonna be handing out something uh, for elephant in the bedroom. That's what it looked like. And we had a uh, my apartment right down the street from my church. If you ever wonder what church I go to, I go to Stone Point. We go to Stone Point Community Church right down the street from us on 43rd and Olive in uh, Glendale. This series is called Elephant in the Bedroom. It's about relationship, marriage, being single, everything I got to do with that. And it will speak right to your heart, to your marriage, or anything that you got going on in life. Uh, it helped me so much. It helped us so much, especially recently in our walk uh, uh, with our marriage and being together and stuff like that. So tremendously affected us so much. And I thank God for my pastor because my pastor has dealt with over 12, 15 years of. Hi right, guys, sorry the camera cut out. Like I said, my pastor been doing counseling for 15, 12 to 15 years, somewhere around that time. He has done so much counseling and so much things for the church and for the uh, for the people that he, uh, you know, counseled. And so, I I I 100% believe that he uh, he brings the tools not just with his experience but from the word of God as able to touch people's life. It don't matter if you're having a perfect relationship. There is no such thing as a perfect relationship, and so you can always do better. You can always improve in it. Uh, as, as one of the things that I learned recently would be, uh, you know, anything can be improved. And so I invite everybody to come join. Uh, me and my fiance to the series so that everybody can enjoy our time learning growing in God in Christ and our relationship building fixing uh, anything uh, that we have really uh, that we really trying to get in in this life you know uh, one of the things that uh, my pastor always says is that uh, if you travel with somebody if you travel by yourself you can you can go faster but if you travel with somebody you can go further and so if you want to get somewhere further in life we have to be able to work on our relationship that we already have and if if, if not if, if we are single or you know uh, haven't uh, dated or you trying to you know get out there and stuff like that and look for the right wife what does a right uh, wife or husband what does that look like to God what does he see what is his point of view and so you get to learn how you're able to find the right one for you uh, and so I invite you to come, come to Stone Point Community Church on 43rd and Olive, Glendale, uh, this Sunday, February 9th, starting at 11.15, Elephant in the Bedroom, let's go. Bring your family, your cousins, uh, uh, your sister, your brother, your mother, uh, everybody, you know, everybody that you know, bring them in. This is for everybody. This is for everybody every single body man Stone Point Community Church have kids ministry toddler ministry like little kids like two years old one years old bring him in man we got a place for everybody this is gonna be an awesome event I'm so excited I think it's gonna be for a few weeks I don't know how long this series is gonna be but you want you don't want to miss the first one so see you there and whenever you see me there guess what better say what's up man say what's up alright alright man today before we get into the video though, I got one more thing and that is intro. Hi right, guys, today I'm gonna be doing something cool. As you guys can tell by the thumbnail and everything, yeah. I'm taking my by the way, my beer came in here, huh? I need to close this in. I'm gonna use a product soon that I will try uh to close this gap in and see if it works and I'm gonna update you guys. But two month beer growth update coming real soon, probably next week. But today I'm gonna be splitting my dreads and seeing what's inside of it. Hi right, guys, one of the things that I did recently was connect two dreads, two skinny dreads. Uh, it wasn't that skinny, but the roots was a little sketchy. I don't like when my dread is skinny. That's why I got this thick dreads. Not that thick, but 
good medium size, I would say. Uh, about 50, 55 dreads or so. I did a video a long time ago, but he connected that. Uh, the two dreads, so I believe I have like 53 or so. Uh, I'm gonna be splitting. I'm gonna be splitting those two dreads, and I'm gonna make it a Congo basically. Uh, and so these dreads are. Let me take it out of this bun because I've had this bun in for about a month straight, just like that. See, my hair tie doesn't even come out because it's dreaded together with the other dreads. Uh, yeah, I'm serious. See how? See where it stays at? Ain't that cool? I look like I got a hair tie on, but I don't got a hair tie on. See? And I know you guys hate me for that, for keeping it in the, in the bun, but... See, shit is what it is. Nothing been locked, no Congo so far. I think soon I'm gonna do a retwist. Uh, not a not a hardcore retwist, but uh, somewhat somewhat good. And also, I'm gonna do a, a cut. As you guys can see, I've been wolfing, so I have literally waves coming out the back of my neck. I'm coming out the back of my neck to the side of my head. And so, yeah, man. My dreads look cool right now, I like it. I like the fact that it just stays down, even though, you know what I'm saying, one of the problems I used to have was everything stood up even after I took it out the bun, but it's been getting heavier because of the amount of hair growth I get. See all that skinny part? And then it goes thick. Yeah, that's no growth right there. But as you guys can tell, from what your guys' guess could be, which one do you think was the one that was doubled up? Which one did you, did you guys think that was connected? Pause, guess it. Guess it. I give this A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. So I for A to D, which one was locked? By gun to the gray. It hooked it together. Two dreadlocks. Yup. You guessed it right. This. No, it ain't actually. It's this. No, it ain't actually. It's this one. I you know how I, you know how I was able to tell because of the way it's just pointing straight out like that because of how kind of thick it is to be honest with you it is thicker than the other ones as you guys can tell as you guys can see it's locked together and yeah i'm gonna be, I'm gonna be taking this out today i know you guys like to see me close up so i'm gonna give you guys close-up shots today <laughs> do me a favor please get out of here get out of here man okay let's split this dread so the way i'm gonna split it is the way uh that you guys probably won't like, probably comment down. What are you doing to your dread? I'm not gonna get a scissor or anything. I'm just gonna split it like this uh, and see how far I can get to. Kind of ripping out my dreads, but I still have thick enough dreads. Yeah, he locked it up pretty good, by the way. Keep splitting it to where it loosens up. Maybe up to here. Maybe up to here. I got a chicken leg. Let's get a close up shot because I know you guys like that stuff. Weirdos. Alright, y'all ready? Yeah, now my fingernail dirty low key. Get that dirt out too while I'm doing this. crochet needle but next time I may be able to show you guys how to put those back in so that a dread can have its weight on it still Woo! oh somebody oh. oh my god 
God, I felt that one. I hit my eye too. Oh, I should have. Oh, see my eye cry. I'm crying right now. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this my this my audio right here almost fell on me. Caught it though, on camera. But y'all see that? I just hit my eye. But I was able to get it at a perfect timing. Oh my God! If it kept on going, I would have just split the whole thing. But yep, dread split accomplished. That's where I wanted at. I'm gonna just twist these so that they don't fall off. And rub them. There we go. Okay. Y'all see that fuzz? Y'all see that fuzz? They still kind of stiff, but I think we was able to do the job. One by two dreads, two by one dreads, something like that. I don't know. Give it a name. But this guy looks like he's on, the, on this side, but actually he is all the way back here. And he goes on this side, on this side of town. But he can kind of work out on that other side too, just like that. Put this in the bun and let him hang. Let him swing. Gotta loosen this up a little bit. It's very stiff, like a crochet hook is so good with these things to lock it up and stuff like that. And look how good that is. Just locked in. Like I told you guys, it's kind of skinny on the bottom. And that's why I locked them together. See how skinny it would have been if it was just two? But they get thickened out. Like, that's most of my dreads, though. I heard that they they get back to the regular routine. But I'm thinking it's because I didn't get a retwist for a whole long time. So this one is fat. For a whole long time. And then um, and then I got a retwist out of nowhere. So I think that made it a big effect on... Uh, on my dreads. Thank you guys for enjoying this video. Make sure you check out the previous video and also the family channel. The family channel, I'm gonna give you guys what I'm gonna upload right now. What celebrity would I most like to have dinner with and why? Female or a male? Of course a female. Uh, <laughs> what would I have a dinner with? I was with thinking maybe you wanna get to like someone famous. I don't I don't I don't I don't sweat nobody though. That one girl. Who? That's in every movie she a rapper? that we watched. No. Like Azalea? <laughs> You're not thinking of her. Do not. Get up! I know, man. It was so funny to make this video, man. I hope you guys just go watch it. Let's get me to 100 subscribers on that because I want to upload more on those. You know, family interaction. You know, you know my fiance. Uh, you, you guys want to get to know her, me, you know, so go check it out. Go like it. Next time, keep acting diverse and creating your own universe. I'm out.